Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the winning. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Vanguard video. Today we are back with another map guide video, video and today we're taking a look at the map Gavutu, which is one, uh, which is the third out of the four beta maps that we were able to play during the beta. And here's an overview of the map. As you guys can see, I am uh, in my current spawn point at the moment. And this is one of the larger maps in the game, in all honesty. It is pretty massive and i'm not gonna lie and it's not really a three lane map either it looks it just is sort of like a uh, modern warfare 2019 map i wouldn't say that it's terrible or a bad map it's just not you know not great it's sort of like an average middle of ground map in this game uh, but uh, obviously it is as i said as you guys can see from that mini map it is a very large map and yeah so unlike with the last video we're still going to try and cover the middle or the left, the middle, and the right routes. But unlike in the last video where it's more of a three-lane map, this one's going to be a little bit more random and probably going to be one of the longer map guides of this series because there are so many areas of this map. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. So as you guys can see, I am here at this spawn, which is, well, you guys can see my character there. And once I get to the other spawn, I'll be able to uh, talk to you guys about that. But anyway, starting off here with one of the first big routes of this map, if you run over here straight ahead, you can get a whole huge line of sight to enemies in this entire middle area, as well as a little tiny look at enemies going down that staircase there. Um, honestly, when you get to this point here, I recommend either using a sniper rifle or using a high powered scope, either AR or LMG, because there are going to be enemies that are up there. There are enemies that are going to be down there and there are going to be enemies that are by the tank and just kind of running through here even i think there might be even a head glitch on that rock over there so you're just gonna have to be very very careful overall because again the more and there's just i mean this is the longest line of sight on the entire map and smgs are going to be absolutely useless here even ars are probably not going to be the most effective thing here uh, if you're if you're sniping over here this is probably a great place to be because you know enemies that are way over there are probably only going to be able to see you if they're using a sniper themselves so that's the first little bit then if we go over here to the left this takes you underground to one of the first destructible environments here on the map as well as you can go through here as well which is another destructible area of the map and then another final one so uh, you know one of the potential thing that you could do is just run through here and then start shooting through enemies from where you are right here or even coming over here and looking up there so uh, at least <clears throat> pardon me <clears throat> at least early in the game if you run down here enemies aren't going to be able to see you which is very very useful for yourself especially because they just they won't they won't know early in game for the most part but if you are on the opposite or on the boat then you make sure you be aware of that um, also if you're in mid game or you know yeah if you're in mid game or late game keep in mind that there are going to be enemies that are going to be up there in that crow's nest of the ship might be head glitching on that as well which all of these wood panels here are destructible environments as well uh, one of the main parts about gavitu that well i don't really like that much is that the boat this boat right here is kind of one of the main points of the map if you take care if you take over the boat you're going to basically dominate this map unfortunately which you know just means that you know there's going to be a lot of people camping up here also watch out for all of these red barrels yes they can all explode including these three bread barrels right here so kind of a risky place to be um also if we go upstairs here this door opens as well as this is another destructible environment same with this now the bonus of that destructible environment up here is that it kind of especially early in game it kind of will take some enemies by surprise also if you if you don't just super sprint through it like i did and you kind of just break it you can actually get a line of sight to enemies there a really good line of sight to enemies that are up there and then of course enemies that are camping up on the crow's nest there so very very useful spot to be especially if you don't just break the whole thing right away and kind of just be sneaky but just keep in mind though that when you are behind cover like this enemies can see your red nameplate so again just keep that in mind all of these windows open as well this, this window opening doesn't really, at least for me, doesn't seem like it has a point. Maybe you can just kind of crouch here and get a line of sight to enemies that are up there. But for the most part, all of these all of these windows here are useful because they can give you a line of sight to enemies that are on the boat. 
and ends up in the crow's nest and then finally down by the B objective and then this window also gives you a little bit of a sneakier line of sight to enemies that are going to be up there where those windows are as well. So now that that building is out of the way, you can go ahead and continue moving on here with this map guide. Now over here, be careful of enemies that are just along here or that are probably usually up there is where enemies like to hang out. No one really runs through here too often. I mean, they can sometimes, but for the most part, they're either hanging out in the boat or they are up there again running through the middle here can be sort of useful but i've honestly never ran through this area mostly because enemies that are camping up there can easily take me out and also most of the time when i play this map i run this way and then jump on the boat because it's it makes more sense than running down there the only time i would ever recommend running down here if you're running from that building and then going to the b objective is probably the only time i would ever uh, run through here but now we are on the boat, which is one of the biggest parts of the entire map. As I said, this is a little destructible environment that can get you on the side to over there. Same with this one. And then this one as well gives you line of sight to enemies that are there, enemies that are way over there, and finally enemies that are moving from that little concrete area across over to there. Also, if you climb up here, this is probably one of the better parts of the map because I can see absolutely everything 360 degrees, which while is good, can also give me a severe disadvantage. A lot of the times though, especially during the beta, enemies would just sit up here the entire game and just pick you off as you're playing, which is very, very annoying, obviously. Uh, but I think in the full launch, again, because there's 16 maps, I've only played Gava 2 about two or three times in the full launch of the game. But I don't really see enemies up here because it is a very risk reward area. While I do get a 360 degree view, of the entire map and i can easily get maybe a two or three kill streak maybe more on the flip side of that though i am in a really bad situation like honestly a really really bad situation up here because there are like 30 lines of sights of enemies that can take me out but again this is useful to be up here for honestly i would only recommend being up here for like maybe two or three kills because at that point you're kind of overstaying your welcome and then you're going to want to drop back down but again this is a useful section for those of you we just want to get a very, very quick overview of the map and then maybe get a couple of kills. Now over here, this is where the B objective is. And I believe we can, yeah, we can move this platform by holding square over here, which will move up this tank and basically moves. I don't know if it, I can't say for sure if it moves up the B objective, but I think it actually does move up the B objective, which is actually a better thing to do when you're playing this map. Honestly, I would always recommend lifting up the flat lifting up the platform at the beginning of the game so that you can capture b uh, but mid game this it's better that it's down below and i don't know if if it starts out on the ground or if it starts up above or if that switches between uh, you know each match can't say for sure but definitely very very cool there also this is another destructible environment for if you're capturing b i don't know how to break through this unless without shooting through it so again that's very very cool you can just kind of run in the trailer a guy ran through here with a shotgun and then fell through if you know this is still here and the beach objective is down there you can kind of get a sneaky kill on enemies that are down there which is very very awesome as well now once again on the flip side there is more uh, areas right here that are destructible environments now again a lot of people from over here a lot of people like to head glitch on that rock there as well as head, uh, head glitch down there so you know honestly a lot of the rocks on this map this is a very head glitchy map i'll just be completely honest with that i mean and a lot of the times if you're standing right here and there's an enemy on that head glitch obviously i have a sniper scope so i can easily see them but if i have a pistol it's very very difficult to see the enemies so that's kind of a really really tough head glitch to go up against so honestly i would probably recommend just coming up here and then trying to, you know, either shoot a hand or something like that so that you can just kind of get a better view on that enemy. Because as I said, if you're right here, it's going to be kind of a dicey gunfight, especially if I'm just using an iron sight or a low zoom sight weapon. Down here, this allows you to get straight to that route or allows you to get straight to that route. Be aware of enemies down here. Also, especially if there's a B objective right here that's being captured because a lot of enemies will spend time down here either running through there just to get a kill on B or they'll come through here just so that they can come up here and then kind of take you out. Next, we have this area over here. 
this basically just sends you to this ladder or you could even probably just stay back here and then maybe get you know a line of sight to enemies there or over there maybe even up there if you want to and then this ladder also gives you up here now again just like in modern warfare you have the ability to have your pistol out when you're climbing ladders so if you if you want you obviously don't have to do this but i do recommend it especially if you know that there are enemies up here you can just climb up here with your pistol at the ready and then if there's an enemy you can take them out and then climb up fully because you know it's always kind of a safe bet but again also keep in mind though that it might be just be better to run up here because when i do this and keep my side up i'm also just showing my head which means that they're probably going to get a headshot and just like in modern warfare the headshot multiplier is very very high in this game so you're probably going to get killed unfortunately which is definitely a big bummer also down here you can get a line of sight to enemies that are over there and over there obviously i'm using a sniper in this map guide just so that i can get a better zoom on things but most of the time if you're over here you're going to be using an smg or an ar or maybe even an lmg or a shotgun now that we're up here enemies can spawn down there come around this corner here which you won't be able to see so again keep that in mind again and this is the opposite head glitch from what i was showing you guys earlier and again it's a really really good one especially because if i mount here i'm going to have a just a super super good advantage on the enemies that are on the boat and again as i said earlier the boat is kind of one of the main areas of the map and if you don't keep that in mind it's it's going to be rough basically so always keep always you know always be ready for a gunfight because enemies are always going to be on that boat no matter what especially if you're in the higher tier sbmm sbmm lobbies so again keep that in mind as well now over here we can get lines of sights to enemies that are there there and back behind us but again enemies will like to run through here to, to get a little bit of a flanking route but a lot of the times enemies will just be running that way towards the towards the little bunker area which i'll show you guys here in a little bit so it's just kind of a quick area to get some shots on enemies that are over there and then you can run back over here and again over here isn't really useful this is sort of i think this is a spawn point over here i do know though for a fact that the spawn point for the other team is down here by the water so that's also something to keep in mind as well now if you run over here this gives you a line of sight to the rock over there that i was at at the beginning of the video as well as gives you a view to that and gives you a view to the crow's nest up there and then also enemies that are running down the stairs here also if i go over to here i can get a line of sight to enemies that are maybe on the top of the stairs right here is probably one of the better sniper routes on the entire map because well i mean obviously they'll see your muzzle flash or your scope flash but this is definitely i think it would is arguably safer than this one right here because it gives you some higher ground actually you know what this one's probably safer never mind but again if you want to come up here and get kind of a nice advantage over an enemy then this is kind of a place to be but again just like with that area there and kind of the crow's nest wouldn't recommend much time in here especially if there's enemies running down there from up from that point as well as way over there just because you're kind of while you're kind of hidden you're also kind of obvious so again if you want to be up here great but i wouldn't spend much time there's also destructible environments here and here and then back there don't know why you would ever use this one because it's kind of hard to get to and kind of out of the way but if you want to get you know just sit back here for some reason and get lines of sights on enemies down there i guess you could do that but again don't really see a point in this destructible environment because it doesn't really have any benefit unless you know that the enemies are spawning behind you and you can get a quick kill and then just kind of jump down and then continue on your streak so as i said this is a big map so it's a pretty big map guy i think when when on the, when this mode is blitz it's like 12 v 12 or something like that so it's a very very large very large map according to sledgehammer games now all of this all this wood paneling here is a destructible environment i'm not going to destroy every bit of it but it goes pretty much down the entire map all those little white lines that you see where i am currently are destructible environments so again not very useful these aren't destroyed very often but if you do see an enemy down there you keep in mind that you can shoot through it tanks are also or these little uh vehicles are kind of nice places to hide you can't really see any enemies from here unless they are up there in that kind of bunker area you can't like see an enemy that's over there or behind you 
So these are kind of areas just kind of hide in to either call in a streak or as I said, to get a line of sight on enemies up there. And again, there's not really much to cover here. I mean, there's just a whole bunch of these vehicles that give you very, very minimal lines of sights to enemies that are up there. But again, they have to be able to show their, they have to be showing their head and that doesn't happen very often. So just keep that in mind. And then again, if we just keep running through here, it's basically a wide open area. And <clears throat> when you're playing this map over here on this side, honestly, my, my highest recommendation is just to run and then either go that way or go up to the bunker. Because if you are down here and you're running down here, a lot of the times you're at a pretty big disadvantage because enemies that are up there have the high ground and you don't have very much cover over here. As I said, the only way you can get cover is if you use these trucks so or these vehicles whatever they are I don't, I don't know exactly what they're called so just keep that in mind then now we are on one of the pretty much the main part of the map there are always 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 enemies up here 24 7 each of these wood bits here are destructible environments and unlike other ones in the game these actually take a couple of bullets and then they break they don't just break and then you can kind of just like shoot through a hole they actually have to break fully for them to be to actually to get rid of them um so again if you destroy these you can get a kind of you can get just an easier line of sight to enemies that are down there as well as over here and then over here this is another destructible environment that i highly recommend breaking because you can kind of just hang out in the bunker here and take some enemies off guard especially early game if you sprint straight from spawn break these you're going to be able to get a very very quick kill on enemies that are right there which is always useful and also Keep in mind about enemies that are head glitching on these stairs here. This one is a little bit not really of a, much of a head glitch because the enemies are very obvious. But if I come from this way and I come up here, enemies can easily, easily spot me. And this, I mean, it is kind of a nice head glitch. So be aware, just like on Hotel Royal, when there were enemies on that little metal, that little metal roof. If I crouch right here, Enemies can only see the top of my head from right here. So if they're over there, um, if they're right there, they can see the tippy tippy top of my head and I can't see them, which obviously puts me at a pretty heavy disadvantage. So again, keep that in mind as well. And again, this is the most popular area of the map. So I always, always, always recommend no matter what side you're coming from, if I'm at this side, keep your sights up, progress progressively until you can see the enemy. Same thing over here. Same thing over here. Keep your sights up progressively until you can see the enemy because there's always, always, always enemies up here coming through here and coming through here. So if I were to say the two main big areas to watch out for that are also the high, high tra the highest traffic areas, this area right here is one of them. And then of course the crow's nest I showed you guys earlier. Up there is the second most high traffic area so again keep that in mind and a lot of and truthfully most of the action probably 90 percent of the action falls between these this area and that area so just keep that in mind and that's pretty much it for this map guide video i don't know if i have anything else to cover that isn't pretty obvious again if you're running through here keep your sights up that is a destructible environment right there so if that is destroyed make just keep in mind that there could be enemies there and then basically there's a whole lot of empty space in the back of this map in particular, you can just come back here, call in a kill streak if you so wish. And then obviously that is everything, pretty much everything. Again, this is going to be my longest, well, I don't think it's going to be the longest. This is going to be one of my longer map guide videos, but hopefully this was able to help you out here on the map of Gava 2 if you guys, or if it did help you guys out, make sure to hit leave a like or leave a comment so that I know that these are helpful. If there's anything that I could do better in these map guide videos that are more particular, or if you have any questions or anything, you can just leave that down below in the comments. And I will do my absolute best to answer them. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, a like, rating, as well as If you want to check out any of my other previous Vanguard videos from earlier today, I will have, I think, my campaign walkthrough. As well as my final video from yesterday. I know I've been uploading a ton of videos. But welcome to the launch of a Call of Duty game. I've been having a lot of fun, but man, I've been uploading a lot of videos. But anyway, guys, if you want to check out any of my other previous map guide videos, they will all be linked down below in the playlist. I will in the previous episode be at the end of the video as well. It was another Call of Duty Vanguard video. I'll see you guys all on another Call of Duty video very, very soon.